Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are back in Scranton, Pennsylvania at On and On Antique Mall. It's a great place. Let's get inside, see what we can find. Let's just check it out together, shall we? Let's do it, guys. Here we are on the interior, you guys. Let's check it out. I absolutely love this skull lamp. It's pretty epic and unusual. And you can even get souvenir t-shirts here. That's pretty awesome. Check out this mid-century lamp here. Let's go in for a closer inspection. They have got all of the fashions here at On and On. Let's take a closer look.
Now this amazing pom-pom tree was $650, but it was on sale at 25% off. I absolutely love this little elephant locomotive. He is so cute. He is priced at $45. Overall, really good condition. And right next door, I'm a huge sucker for these musical bird in cages. It did work, just not the best, but it was still really cool to see. Alrighty guys, things are about to get out of control. First up is this Sarsaparilla, that is the manufacturer. They were a manufacturer of Frank Art. These are made from the original Frank Art pieces, uh, the molds specifically. This one's priced at $2.95. She's in excellent condition. I love the sun disc made in here. These Tiffany style lamps, the dragonfly. I love these greens and the reds. These are all beautiful. And then right behind them are these absolutely amazing candelabras, the wall sconces here. It was $200 for the set of two. I fell in love with these. I wished I had gotten them. This des deserves just another panoramic view here i love this display you guys we even have some pyrex here let's go upstairs guys here we go i'm telling you wait till we get upstairs it gets even more epic Now, I did run some comps on those. Unfortunately, that really is the going rate for this set here. But I did love this very mid-century Lazy Susan here. 
I thought that was an uh, unusual piece, and I love the color combination. Speaking of something that I loved were these roly polies here, uh, the stainless wine glasses. The grape pattern isn't my most favorite, though I do love that silver fade on there. Uh, those were beautiful. Speaking of something that is unique, now I do believe that this was a handmade piece versus a manufacturer. I could be wrong. We obviously are seeing a stamp here on the interior. It is labeled as a wooden planter. Obviously, you would put an insert in there not to destroy the wood. Definitely had to capture that one. And if you are a music fan, they've got a few to check out. Be Still My Heart. This really unusual art glass vase here that is signed. You guys, this is a really special piece. It was an artisan um, that only did very few pieces. She was a teacher for a few years in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and was actually contracted by Tiffany Cartier um, to design pieces for them. Really high end, very hard to get. This is an amazing piece of art glass. The Corning Museum of Art Glass actually purchased one of her pieces to display. Alrighty guys, we are headed into the second half of Upstairs. Always look for the unusual, and I'm telling you something that was really unusual was this skull staff blow mold. Really unique. I've never seen one before. It looks like the price sticker fell off at $75. I went ahead and attached it there to the top, and I did see the little trick-or-treat pal here, the really cute witch. I was not able to find a price on this one. Um, that dent in the back as well as the split kind of turned me off from it anyhow. So we're going to leave them there. That'll be there for the right collector. And uh, we're going to see what else that we can't find here. Like this creepy child in the box. Nothing strange to see here, folks. Oh, you know I saw it, and I have my trusty flashlight. That's right, we've got a divided glass Vaseline tray, and it is stuck in there, but I was able to remove it. I wanted to remove it to make sure that there were no chips or cracks to the actual glass. It needs cleaned up, but overall, really good condition. Uh, I did want to see if maybe there was a hallmark here to the metal tray. I did not find one. However, at $25, amazing get. Now, the same vendor back here had an original Bystol, pre-Bystol. Um, the skull here, he was taped up uh, at $20 given the condition issue. I did decide to go ahead and leave that one behind. But in pulling out the skull, I did see this bat die cut. And he does have the bratted wings so that you can move them up and down. He does have his Made in Japan mark on him. This one was only $10. Now, there is some tape to the foot, but overall, really good vintage condition. 
like I say, I'm definitely going for the unique here. So I was definitely pleased to pick him up. I think he's really cute. Uh, obviously great for Halloween, but if you love the bats, display them year round. Now, right behind all of that, I did see this powder jar. It looked like it was a silver overlay. Turns out it was not. It is a, it's an aluminum canister. There is a satin glass insert on the interior. I love the very art deco vibe to it. You can see the glass insert. Unfortunately, at $38, I thought it was a little spendy, um, especially because of the, the paint loss to it. Not unheard of. You certainly can carry way more with a basket. Sure can. Now, I did spot this very mid-century uh, glass trinket box here. I absolutely love the pebble effect to that amber glass. Um, I love the unusual shape to it also. Look at how the sun, the light plays in it. Searching for a price. I couldn't find one. It's okay. We want to inspect a little bit closer. Mirrored bottom to it there. Great shapes. $40 we find it here on this side. So I'm going to leave it behind there. Well, hello there in the mirror. Moving on, I didn't spot anything else until I spotted this beautiful art glass. Look at this effect. It's got a very end of day, like they just took the remaining uh, glass rods, spun it all together into this beautiful glass bowl. I was a little hesitant to spend the $28 on it, but given the overall vibe and color aesthetics to it, I really could not leave this piece behind. I think it's quite unusual. I've not seen coloring like this before, so I'm super excited to have picked this up. You definitely got to let me know down in the comments what you think of this beautiful piece of glass, guys. Moving on, I did spot this Lucite Sunflower. It is labeled either a napkin holder or a letter holder. $22. It was a little rough. There was some chipping, so I did leave that one behind. Up next, the packaging got me really excited, and I was like, am I going to be disappointed when I open this? The disappointment's real. Moving on, I absolutely love this pink glass dish. No, I did not get it. It is only $10. I thought, how amazing would this be to be able to give this as an Easter gift to somebody? Kind of fill it with some Easter grass and some maybe more adult chocolates, some gift cards, and they'd be able to keep a beautiful pink piece of glass too. Right above that, you guys, we do spot uh, these candle holders here. It had a very Costa Boda feel to it. It is a Swedish glass company, a little lesser known. Not a whole lot of value on it, though I do love the lines on it. Same booth right below everything else. We do have these. These are manufactured uh, pieces with the vinyl inserts in them. Uh, I love them. I love the color on them. They're super mid-century. You could certainly play them up in a bohemian kind of decor. I was trying to see where it was manufactured and then the camera was fighting me. So uh, made in Philippines. I love these. I think that you could use them for utensils, for an office, and the beautiful part of it is, is that at two for $12, heck yeah. Thought you could flip them upside down though too and use them as risers um, because there is the added floral detail on the bottom of the pieces. So again, great souvenir pieces from the Philippines, and I absolutely love these. So these were a definite get. This had an unusual shape to it. I absolutely loved it. We have... Crocsville. Never heard of them before, but it's got a great deco line to it. It does look like it did have some sitting water in it, so ultimately I did leave it behind. Hey, look at this. We've got another basket here. Now, this would be great if you did have like a larger jardinier and you could put the pot or jardinier inside of here to kind of dress it up. I wasn't overly thrilled 
with this one, I have to be honest with you. So it was cool to see so many pieces pulled together, but I ultimately did leave that one behind. Right next door, I saw this huge bag of paper dolls and it was only $12. This thing has got some weight on it. I just kind of casually perused through here to see if the $12 would be worth what I could just look through quickly. It most certainly did. We look at her. She's even got her little hair. There's nothing creepy about her at all now. Uh, so we do have the paper dolls, of course, the clothes. It is jam packed. We even has, have a, what is it? A busy day with Peg and Dot. Well, Peg and Dot have got to be at least worth the $12, don't you think? But look at all of these in here. Let's flip this around. Oh, we've got the two little kids. Yeah, definite get. Speaking of paper dolls, right underneath it, we do have a wood doll. So she was in here. However, it didn't look like the clothes were original to the doll. So uh, Peggy girl, you're super cute. Yep, there she is in the box. We're going to leave you behind. Cute little chalkware baby that you could hang on the wall or just use as a little desk figurine. So what you are seeing here are Florence ceramics. These are obviously two wall plaques. Now at $22, I think that's an exceptional value. I will say that I have attempted to sell Florence ceramics uh, in the past. They don't do that well, unfortunately. So I do have a great appreciation for them, but I do leave those behind. One thing that I did pick up for sure was this Lucite paperweight. Uh, it's got some great mid-century vibes to it. I think it's done very well. And I love the unusual shape to it with the faceting or the beveling effect uh, to the corners. Uh, typically, they're in that cabochon style. So that round dome or a classic paperweight. So I liked this unusual style. Speaking of unusual style, we've got some feather art here that was produced as a Mexico or a Mexican, pardon me, uh, souvenir piece here. Obviously, they would use feathers to create the birds. I think it's cute there. We've got the story of the Mexican feather art. You can pause the video here and zoom in if you're able to read that. And then check it out. We've got more Philippines woven baskets. I really, really like the color palette on these. It's that pop of the teal um, or the blue that I really like with those earth tones. Um, I just, I really like this. And the better part of, oh, look, there's our manufacturer sticker made in Philippines. It still has the inserts in there. You could pull those out. You do get the set of two for $24, this smaller one, as well as the larger one. So I was really excited, quite pleased to be able to get these. Um, I just think it gives a really earthy, homey look. Uh, great, again, for that mid-century fan. So definitely proud to pick these guys up for sure. Now, this may surprise you and disappoint you, given my enthusiasm for the other pieces. We did have this little uh, satchel clutch, is what they call it. Um, I liked it. It was only $12. I think the price was really good, but I did decide to go ahead and leave this one behind. It was a little too specific to its purpose. I think the canisters, uh, both the round and the square, I think there's a little bit more use for them this would be decorative though i do think that if you were on vacation this would be a great accessory especially if you were in the philippines or mexico um, it would just be so wonderful to have that piece but it was a little too specific for me right above it we do see this beautiful beautiful as in it is a funeral basket this one is a metal uh one they have it labeled simply squirrel basket here we've got it's um taylor smith taylor these beautiful pink with the dogwood, the pine cone on it. It is a full set of 30. I will say, or pardon me, 
It was a full set of 10 pieces for $30, which is an exceptional deal. Now, keep in mind, I am shopping for resale. So ultimately, I did leave these behind, though. I will say the gravy boats alone could be worth it. The plates don't really do all of that well. And it's one of those things where I had to weigh storing the additional pieces. So I left this behind. Now here we've got a beautiful piece of Tiffin glass. Richard actually has two of these. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the inserts on them. Um, and at $30, this is a steal. I've seen a couple of these before. Uh, they usually range anywhere from about 90 to 100 to 120. So this was a good get, I definitely think. Now these are Jubilee celebration pieces. So they are a contemporary piece, though still vintage. Uh, I love this little serving dish here at the front. The two ewers in the back, there's not a whole lot of value on them. Um, what is it here? We've got Paramount Classics out of Bavaria. Uh, really cool. I love the blue, white, and gold detailing. I think these colors are quite luxe, all mixed together, very high end. Uh, but again, the value on them, a um, couple of dollars, but not enough to really warrant me picking them up. So beautiful to see how to get them on camera. Okay, the inner child of me is screaming right now. These vintage rubber figurines. Look at these ladies. They're so weird. Uh, I know at one time there was an Instagram seller who had had these and I saw the picture and I was like a day and a few dollars short on these. So to be able to pick them up at the three pieces at only six dollars. Um, okay. Sure, I know they're not going to be for everybody's taste, but uh, they are definitely my trash testicle little heart was singing on these guys. Alrighty, guys, well, that is it. Here is all of our goodies. I am excited about this one. I hope you enjoyed today's Shop With Me video. Now, before we end it, I did pick up these little cocktail picks. We've got the parrot baggie here. And then we also have a variety of different shapes. We've got some uh, diamonds and clubs, a ballerina and a mermaid. Uh, so just quick little additions. 
uh, to our basket. Overall, I think it was a great shopping excursion. Um, definitely let me know down in the comments what you thought, and we'll wrap it up outside. Here we go, guys. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have today's shopping trip. Uh, I hope that you did have a good time. I really tried to add some different elements in today's video. I hope that it made for a more pleasant experience for you guys. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and I'd appreciate it. Also, let me know what you think of Miss Jacob's art glass vase. I'm really excited to kind of dig into that a little bit further. Um, just in the quick search that I did, I want to see what museum she is in and uh, I don't know, I think it's, it's, it's an exceptional piece. And until next time guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.